Today, we're out here at Donwood Park Public School, which doesn't really sound like too familiar of a name for a spot, but it actually has this, which used to be a triple kink over the rail into the bank spot. You've probably seen it in a few video parts, such as Mitch Donovan's State Your Name. You would have seen it in TJ Rogers' part. We're just about 20 minutes outside of City of Toronto, so we're in Scarborough right now, and we're actually just at Brimley and Dorcott. So if you're heading south down Brimley, you make a right on Dorcott, and then you'll find the school right there, and you just pull up. So if you do want to skate the spot, it is still here. It's not easy, but it's an option. There's not a lot of tricks that have gone down, but we're going to deep dive into some more of the single tricks for this video. Before we get started, hit the like button, and we got a special guest joining us today, so stay tuned. This actually used to be a triple stair. What was it? It was like a seven flat seven, maybe like an eight flat eight flat five. Can't remember now, because now that I'm seeing the spot, it's so much different. Down at the bottom there, the bank used to go down a little bit like more steeper. And I don't think the field behind us was as tall as it is now. You can see in the background that there's actually like a new soccer field or a football field that they play on now. And that didn't used to be there. So I think they raised the field ever since installing that in there. It kind of sucks because now the spot's almost not skatable. Unless you come here on a really dry day where it doesn't rain beforehand, you can actually get away with riding through the dirt. And some people have actually skated it that way. I can think of Dwayne Anderson Jr. There's one clip of him in one of uh, Column's videos. He does kickflip over the handrail. No one was really skating the rail. It was always just over the rail into the bank. On either side, goofy, regular, front side, back side. And they got Bondo up here too. But one thing that's actually kind of fucked up about this spot, you can't really notice it on film and we'll try our best to kind of show it, but like down here, it kind of slopes down before the stairs. If you're riding Nolly or even regular switch, whatever, like it's definitely gonna throw your pop off. They have these rails up at the top and it's on that side too. They got them on both sides. It doesn't even actually trip you out. It's kind of far from the rail. These banks right here, they used to be a lot crustier. If you fell down this shit, which we have some clips of uh, Mitch kind of eating shit, you would get torn up, like super cheese grater, your hands would get torn up, your shirt would get ripped up. Yeah, you definitely wanted to not fall, but it's such a gnarly spot that it was, it's bound to happen anyways. You do go fast down this bank. Once you land your trick, like you'll notice in the clips, like you do pick up some speed. One trick that I could think of, or actually a couple, that I could think of would be TJ Rogers. He did switch front 360. But he also did switch front heel. He just starts flying down the bank. He looks casual for him because he's a professional. The same day that TJ did switch front heel, obviously there was some warm ups too. He did switch front 180. And Beaster did front 180, which yeah, it's just a front 180, but that's actually pretty gnarly because you're going down switch. Alex Barron, he did nose blunt yanking in Persona Non Grata off the, uh, off the top rail here. Aaron McDaniel, he did hippie jump on it. That's a tall hippie jump. I always wanted to see somebody ollie over it, but hippie jump is actually just as crazy. Will Marshall, there's a photo that Josh Hotz shot of Will Marshall doing crook popover on it. Mitch Prima did front blunt on the rail. He also did backside flip over the rail as well. And then over on this rail, Zach Ferguson in State Your Name does backside blunt slide on it, drop down regular rides to the bank. The spot's not as sick as it used to be, and that's why I guess it's not getting skated anymore. Charles Deschamps, 50-50 through the kink. I don't remember if we actually landed this or not. I definitely remember an attempt. Something really fucked up about that was, and it's honestly not as bad anymore, but there's like these little bumps in the kink, and uh, they used to be a lot bigger because the rail used to be brown, and then I guess they painted over it. Maybe they did some rewelding as well on it, especially at the kinks at the bottom when they shortened the rail. But these bumps, we always thought it was kind of trippy. If someone grinds through that, like, that's gnarly. There's also another spot that we're gonna check out, but before we get into that, I wanna bring on our special guest that I promised you guys, so give it up for Mitch Donovan, everybody. He's here. Welcome to the show. I mean, it's the first time we've ever had like a guest on here. Something a little different, especially for a spot like this, like I was saying, like, it'd be cool to actually have people on, like Mitch or whoever skated the spot to actually go into more details than I ever could. So, <laughs> kind of interesting to see your take on it as opposed to just mine watching the clips and seeing you come home with the clips and showing us those nights. <laughs> yeah, be yeah. sick to actually get the full story of them. That's what I always forget about too, is like coming back and 
waiting on them, but usually it'd be like Jordan or Eric would be there too and have the, the clips reviewing them or whatever. And then uh, as soon as I'd get them, I'd be like, you'd be like the first person to, to send my clips to usually. Yeah, because I'd always ask. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was that like, guy. I was like, yo, yo, send me clips. So what went down? <laughs> so, so I can make edits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true too. Like I said, this spot is, uh, is kind of special to me and uh, I was super hyped to kind of be the one to sort of spark it off. I'd have to say kind of, you know, do the, you can, you can be modest, but <laughs> I'd say do the best tricks to go down on it too. I, I've got to give it to you. Like this is your spot. Yeah. As far I as I know, I mean, uh, I know like obviously uh, TJ's two tricks that he did are super are sick up there, but uh, I'm always modest, but I, I definitely, as much as I got love for TJ, I think this is one spot that I might be able to, to hold the belt on. First place trophy goes to. It's so rare for us, I think in Canada in general, but our area to have like an over rail to bank spot, even though it was a little more mellow than ones you'd see like regular pro skate, it's still a sick spot. And like I said, I always wanted a spot like that to get like more than one trick on too. It's definitely weird seeing it now being like half the set that it used to be and the bank as well. Peanut's brother Rob, I think he was the first one to find it or like however he heard about it. He brought me to it because he knew it would be like a good spot for me. I'm pretty sure the top always used to be pretty smooth like it is now, but the banks were just like so rugged, so outdated with like that old style cement where it's just like rocks that are pretty jagged. This is like more smoothly paved. It definitely put me through a bit of hell with a uh, bit of a beating that I took for some of my tricks. Rob brought me here. I think I just was like getting warmed up. Obviously started with like an ollie, maybe a 180, and then uh, went to kickflip. Don't think the footage is still around for that. Still a sick kickflip, even though it was like warm up, felt good to do. I never was very good at frontside flips, and you know that because anytime we'd play skate, that would be one of the guaranteed tricks you'd get a letter on me for. I guess that time I just kind of had them and in my head I thought of it more of like skating it as a hip and that helped because I didn't feel like I had to do a full like front side 180. Somehow that helped in my head get that done because that's the only front side flip I've ever I think ever done on on a spot. I remember everyone being kind of like shocked that day too because like I said it wasn't one of my my tricks in my bag at the time or really ever school broke out as i was skating it and all these kids come out they got super excited and asked me for like autographs as i'm like in the middle of trying to go to my next trick it was a somewhat fun little break from the session where these kids were just super hyped and didn't know who the hell we were but they just wanted some autographs and then afterwards i ended up doing tray flip didn't come like first try or anything but as I said, it was just like such a spot that I've wanted to skate for so long that I didn't want to stop skating it, I guess. The tray flip, that was kind of my go-to, I think, like back in the day, especially. I, I just loved doing that trick down stuff. That was probably like honestly easier than the front side flip, I'd say. I don't think this little bump threw me off that much for those first tricks, but uh, it definitely got in in the way a bit when I came back with the intention for Nolly Heel. Also with the intention to get the photo, TJ Tyndale shot it. We came back at least three, maybe four times, I wanna say. This little bump here made it a lot harder to work for and obviously just popping Nolly over, over a rail isn't easy on its own. Into a bank as well, I remember out of the few times I came for it, sticking probably quite a few and just rolling over. Wasn't a nice feeling on the, the old bank. It'd be a lot nicer if it was uh, this new stuff. Finally got it, wasn't easy, but worked for it and even uh, ended up being the second photo I had, I think, in a magazine. After that, I don't think I was fully satisfied with walking away from this spot yet. But I know I had it in my head for a while of wanting to switch tray it. That one, I didn't have to come back more than once, 
but it was a long day. I remember being here for like three or four hours trying it. The carving you have to do with the way the school is in front of the set, it kind of worked in my favor for switch tray, but also threw me off a bit because I kind of had to like zigzag my way in. And I just remember like multiple times either landing on the board or off it and still managing to like roll scraped my back up pretty good on that one but yeah after putting in a few hours at it i uh i pulled it off like i said with tray flips that was kind of my go-to back in the day same with any variation of it really Switch was always kind of my favorite to do. It just felt the best. Having a switch tray on a spot like this, I was super grateful that like you can see in the clip when I ride away from it and just run into the field, like just a sigh of relief. Like I was so glad, obviously it felt amazing to roll away from, but so glad to be done with trying that one. Cause as I said, it just took a bit of a beating from it. Got a little lucky too with the roll away. Like the bank used to be a bit skinnier and the grass kind of how it is now it was able to you were able to push through it and that one i not only pushed through the grass but the there was like a water bottle that i rode through too i remember i was just like the way i landed and the way it felt i was just like not letting go so i just fully committed and like held through the grass hill and uh ran through the field after with like a huge sigh of relief i think that's probably not only my favorite switch tray i've done but also the one that I probably had to work the hardest for. I would have loved to have had like a perfect ride away down the bank. I think like going through the grass and having to push through that kind of added to it and made it like that much better. Crazy bastard! <laughs> Holy oh, fuck, man. man. Yes! <laughs> These birds are flexing. <laughs> now that the blood's flowing a little bit, might try to ollie this thing. Just gonna be a little dicey. Yeah, it's just like this side especially, it's like soft and raised here. I don't know if I'll have enough time to carve it, but maybe go slow for the ollie and do one of these. I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> we'll see. Ah. Oh. oh my god. I went back and grazed the rail. Now it's your turn. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Not quite a switch tray, but still had to put some work in for that. As we said, it's obviously a much different spot now. Got pitched a couple times there. That was a fun couple ollies <laughs> when I finally got it. Because of that chunk, there's like a big uh, hole basically where you have to pop. That would have been the perfect spot for me to pop from, but I had to go further off to the side. So that made me go a little wider every time I landed and trying to carve for that quick ollie after. Took a bit of work to figure out. Feels good to do a little something on this like so many years later after all those tricks. It'd be sick if anyone was to do like something more than that and still either clear or on a drier day ride through that. It'd be sick to see something else if anyone's willing to step to it, but it ain't easy, I'll say that. But that was the uh, over rail into the bank. But there's actually a newer spot. It's been here for a couple years. Uh, some new ledges that we were talking about earlier at the beginning of the video. Let's go check them out. This building was actually put here a few years ago now. 
I've actually skated these ledges myself. I know Aaron Carpio's got some tricks too. And it's a nice little bomb, like hill bomb to the spot too. So you gotta be careful these rocks. This didn't used to be here back when he was doing those tricks, but now there's just like this perfect ledge spot with like really nice ground on it. I'd like to definitely come back here and skate them again. They could use some more wax. We're already here. The rail is just back behind us over there. Like you have this perfect like tile kind of ground. And then you have this one ledge here that starts you off and you can just start your run off there. That's actually right here, that big soccer field, football field that we were talking about. It's right there. So that's how close we actually are. And these are perfect ledges, just maybe that low below your knee. Good height, not too small, not too tall either. So you can kind of get tech on them. And then they got these little benches all over the place too. One line specifically, I can think of Aaron Carpio. And then he comes and does a nose bonk on this one. And you got people playing basketball and stuff. So it's like a pretty chill little spot. Kick back tail on this ledge. And then when you come around, there's even more ledges too. They're just not waxed yet. And I mean, we are in Scarborough, so not a lot of people come to skate Scarborough spots anymore, unfortunately. A lot of people kind of stick to the city. I did one line as well. I didn't actually skate the second ledge because it wasn't grinding for us that well that day. But I just did like a little nose ground 180, fakie front 180, then a, we set up a little trash can and I backside flipped over it. The spot's still kind of a free for all. Like we said, we're right off Brimley and uh, Dorcott. So if you want to come skate the ledges, they're here and wax them up, make it more fresh. You know, history isn't always just about the past, but it's also about like, you know, what's come now to the present too. The spot is obviously more so about that over rail into the bank spot. And that's what we wanted to focus more on today. But yeah, we have to come check it out. That's the uh, Donwood Park Public School slash triple kink, double kink, over rail into the bank. We always just call it the triple kink over rail spot. It was a little bit of a different approach today. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this as well, where we actually do like deep dives on tricks. Let me know if you guys like that. And if you do hit the like button as well, it actually does help the channel and all that. And join the discord. I'll leave a link right here as well above me. People are talking in there. You can also help me out with some of the tricks that you might know have happened at the spots that we're covering. Yeah, with all that said, subscribe to the videos. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.